and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video, we'll run through how to set up and give a run through of the indoor console functions for the IC XC0436 wireless digital weather station. To start, insert the batteries into the sensors. Turn the 5-in-1 sensor upside down. Avoid applying too much pressure to the station while it's in this position as it may damage the wind cups. Unscrew and remove the battery compartment door. Install three AA batteries. Before replacing the battery door, ensure the O-ring remains in place. This is essential for keeping the battery compartment water resistant. Screw into place. The LED light should begin to flash every 12 seconds. Slide off the battery door cover on the temperature and humidity sensor and insert two AA batteries. Replace the cover. At this stage, you can install the stand and pole on the 5-in-1 sensor. For this, you will need the pole, mounting base, and the two small screws and nuts from the mounting hardware kit. Insert the pole into the sensor. Ensure the small arrow on the pole aligns with the line on the station. Place the nut in the hexagonal hole, then insert the screw from the other side, and tighten the screw using a small screwdriver. Then insert the other side of the mounting pole into the mounting base, again ensuring that the arrow on the pole aligns with the line and arrows on the base. Place the nut inside the hexagonal hole and then insert the screw on the other side and tighten using a small screwdriver. The outdoor sensor is ready for outdoor installation. Next, power up the console. First, install the backup CR2032 battery. Then plug in the USB power adapter. The unit will beep when it switches on. Wait as the console automatically connects to the wireless sensors. Within a couple of minutes, our sensors have successfully connected. On the console, we can see the outdoor temperature and humidity, the signal strength indicator, Trend indicator for both temperature and humidity, the indoor temperature and humidity, comfort indicator and trend indicator. The next block of information displays barometric pressure and forecast, and the wind weather index with the wind direction on the outside and wind speed average on the inside. Below this is additional calculated weather information. In this block you will find feels like temperature, heat index, dew point and wind chill. The next block is rainfall and rain rate information. And last of all, at the bottom is day, time, date, moon phase and Wi-Fi connectivity information. Next, we'll run through a few of the settings and adjustments you can make to personalize your indoor console. First is the ability to adjust the LCD viewing angle. If you have a console on a stand or a wall, you may want to adjust the viewing angle of the LCD to an ideal position. When the LCD is in its location, press the up and down selector keys on the back of the unit to adjust the viewing angle until it is the clearest. The console is designed to obtain the local time through the assigned internet time server. If you want to use it offline, you can set the time and date manually. To do this, press and hold the clock set key for two seconds. The timer will be replaced by flashing digits. In each of the settings, use the up and down arrows on the back to adjust the value, then press clock set to move on to the next option. The options are time zone, hour, minute, 12 or 24 hour time format, year, month, day, month day or day month format, time synchronization on or off, and weekday language. After cycling through the options, the unit will automatically return to the home screen. If not, press the clock set button for two seconds. Pressing the clock set key while in the home screen will switch between the year and date display.
Next is setting the time alarm. Press and hold the alarm key for two seconds until the alarm hour digit begins to flash. Use the up and down selector keys to adjust the value, then press alarm to confirm and move on to the next value. Repeat the same for the minute. Pressing alarm to confirm this time takes you out of alarm setting mode. A small bell icon will appear indicating that the alarm is set. Pressing the alarm button from the home screen and releasing it will show the alarm time for 5 seconds. When the alarm time displays, you can press alarm again to cycle through the activation of alarm function, turn the alarm with ice alert on or turn all alarms off. When the alarm sounds, it can be stopped by either letting it ring out for 2 minutes, pressing snooze will delay the alarm for an extra 5 minutes, pressing and holding snooze for 2 seconds stops the alarm sound and resets it for the following day, or pressing alarm on the back will stop the alarm and reset it again for the following day. Next you can use the Celsius Fahrenheit slide switch to select the temperature display unit. This updates almost instantly. The temperature humidity trend indicator shows the trends of changes expected over the next few minutes. These are the arrow indicators which will appear on the screen and what they mean. The comfort indication graphic is based on indoor air temperature and humidity as a means to determine occupant comfort level. There are three possible comfort indicator icons and this is what they mean. This is where you'll find all of your wind speed and direction information. The image shows the real-time wind direction indicator as shown by the arrow. Past wind directions, this is in the last 5 minutes, is indicated by the small markings on the outside of the circle. And the average or gust speed will appear in the centre. To choose between the display of average or gust speed, press the wind button. To adjust the display unit, press and hold the wind button until the unit flashes. Then use the up and down arrows on the back to adjust. Select between meters per second, kilometers per hour, knots and miles per hour. Press wind again to confirm your selection and return to the home screen. To move between the weather indexes, press the index key on the front. Pressing this cycles through the feels like temperature, heat index, wind chill and dew point. Feels like temperature shows what the outdoor temperature will feel like. This is calculated through a mixture of wind chill and heat index. The heat index is determined by the wireless 5-in-1 sensors temperature and humidity data when the temperature is between 27 and 50 degrees Celsius. Here is an example of the heat index range, warnings and an explanation. Wind chill, a combination of the wireless 5-in-1 sensors temperature and wind speed data determines the current wind chill factor. And last of all, dew point. Dew point calculates a temperature which varies according to pressure and humidity, below which water droplets will begin to condense and dew can form. Barometric pressure. The built-in barometer can notice atmosphere pressure changes. Based on the data collected, it can predict the weather conditions in the upcoming 12 to 24 hours within a 30 to 50 kilometer radius. This is the forecast icons and what they mean. As you can see today, our station is forecasting partly cloudy weather. To change the view between absolute and relative barometric pressure, press the barrow button on the front of the console. To adjust the display barometric pressure unit, press the barrow unit button on the back of the console. Each press of the key will cycle through the following units. You can select hectopascals, inches of mercury or millimetres of mercury. Next is rainfall. To select the rainfall display mode, press the rain button. This toggles the display between hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, total or rain rate. To adjust the displayed rainfall unit, press and hold the rain key for 2 seconds to enter into unit setting mode. Press the up and down selector keys to toggle between the display in inches or millimetres. Press rain again to confirm your selection. 
To reset the total rainfall record, this is recommended after first installing your unit outdoors, press and hold the history key when on the home screen for two seconds. The unit will beep to confirm the reset. Press the max min button to view the accumulated maximum and minimum weather data with a corresponding timestamp. Each press moves through the parameter, shows whether it is a minimum or maximum record, and shows the time and date of the occurrence. To delete max min records, go to the record, then press the max min button for two seconds. The device will beep as the record is deleted. The console stores collected weather data from the past 24 hours. Each press of the history button will take you back to the start of each hour. The time the data was taken and the data will display from each hour. There's not much to display here as we've only just set this unit up. Press any key to escape history mode or press no keys and the unit will automatically return to the home screen after a minute. Last of all, we'll run through how to set alerts. Press alert to select and display the desired weather alert reading. Each press of the alert button will run through the displayed sequence. To set an alert, press the alert button until the parameter you wish to set an alert for displays on the screen. For this example, we will set an indoor low temperature alarm. On the parameter, Press and hold the alert key for two seconds until the reading starts to flash. Then use the up and down arrows to adjust the value. Press alert again to confirm the value. Now the value is set, use the alarm key to switch the alert on or off. The small alert icon will appear next to each parameter that has an alert switched on. Press alert again to move on to the next parameter. And that's how to set up the IC XC0436 and a quick overview of the indoor console functions. For more information on this weather station, including a video demonstrating how to connect the unit to Wi-Fi or to speak with an instrument choice scientist for more information, see the details and links in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.